Hey everyone, this is my review for Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. And this is the second book in the Hunger Games series. If you haven't read the Hunger Games or checked out my video for it, uh, be sure to check that out. I recommend definitely reading it before watching this video because it will contain some spoilers from the first book. Why don't you head over there to your library or to your bookstore, get it, read it. I'll be here waiting and we can talk about Catching Fire. So go on, go read, and I'll be here waiting. So you're back. You've finished reading The Hunger Games and now you're wanting more. You're wanting to see what happens next to Katniss, to PETA, to District 12. Catching Fire was an amazing book. And so let's talk about what Catching Fire is about. I won't reveal too much about it because you'll be pleasantly amazed and happy while you read it. So Katniss and PETA survive the Hunger Games. Surprise, surprise, right? And they're back home in District 12 with more trouble awaiting them. Especially President Snow is not feeling her at all. They, they kind of not like her. Yeah. She's just in a lot more trouble and the intensity of the whole situation in Panem and in the districts are far beyond what she thought would ever happen. It's more intense, serious, and action-packed. I've seen other book reviewers and their opinions on Catching Fire and there's been some, I guess, debate and opinion whether Catching Fire is better than The Hunger Games. I personally, reading Hunger Games for the first time, you can't take that away from me. It was amazing when I first read The Hunger Games and I loved it. There's something about that initial read of the series that is unexplainable. Catching Fire is amazing on a different level in its own way. The whole world of Panem and their districts and knowing this world isn't new, their amount of surprises and twists in Catching Fire are overwhelming. There are so many surprises in here. Good surprises and it keeps you turning the page. I was like, oh my god. <gasps> no way! Each chapter, I was kind of jumping up and down. Oh my god, what's going on? And Catching Fire is very good, a very good book. I can't say it's better than Hunger Games because I love reading the Hunger Games. That doesn't really answer which I like better, but both of them are very good and very well done. The writing in this one as well was really good. It was fast paced, it kept me turning the page. Um, the dialogue was really good. I really like the dialogue in this one. I love the interaction between Katniss and the characters. Peta, you know, saying stuff again. <laughs> the dialogue was just amazing overall. New characters you're introduced to. I'll say um, Finnick is my new favorite character in this one. He is adorable. I love him and he's just so funny as well. His kind of interaction with Katniss is very hilarious to me. I loved it. They're very likable. There are characters that you just hate and not the ones you love to hate. You just hate them. So writing dialogue characters always good in the world of Catching Fire. Let's talk about Gale versus Peeta. Team Gale versus Team Peeta. Gale for me, yes. Duh. Gale and Katniss has a bond and a relationship so deep. I don't think you can ever sever that connection between them and I think romantically Gail is a much better fit for Katniss. Peta is amazing, he's adorable, very sweet and you can't hate him. He is, he's too good for Katniss I think. I think Peta is, you know, you love him and you know it hurts to see that Katniss for me anyways, I don't see the, the romantic connection between Katniss and Peeta. I think she values friendship with Peeta more and I see it more as a really deep friendship than more a romantic one. So that's kind of my two cents between the Team Gale and Team Peeta kind of sides. Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins is definitely a readable in my opinion. Amazing. It was... It, 
it's right up there with the Hunger Games and I can't wait for the third installment and last installment of the Hunger Games, Mockingjay, which will be coming out August 24th next week. And I just can't wait to see how it all ends and how it all ties up together and I'll be sad and I'll be, you know, just happy reading. You will love it. Love it.